In Nederland is het niet zo bijzonder om ongelovig te zijn. Maar in grote delen van de wereld is dat totaal anders. Atheist, nedir, Allahsız, kafir, her türlü adiliği yapabilen, yalancı, düzenbaz. So what would happen if you go back to Iran? What will happen then? I will get arrested. And then they're gonna persecute me in a court that is based on Sharia law. So consequently, I would be executed. Yeah. Wow. That's association in Turkish, the association of atheism. If we go public with this, we are gonna get, you know, insulted. Yeah, you will need that. Met name in streng islamitische landen worden godslasteringswetten steeds vaker ingezet tegen ongelovigen. Je verliest je baan, je kan gevangenisstraf krijgen of riskeert zelfs de doodstraf. We zien in Pakistan onder het mond van blasfemie veel meer veroordeelden en ook ter dood veroordeelden. For some reason, religion holds this sort of moral trumping card, um, and that it seems to be uh, in these states immune from critique, which is really very difficult for us and very dangerous. I did a, an interview on Channel 4, a very short interview about Sharia courts in the UK. I received lots of death threats after after the interview, and I was myself and my family back in Sudan was um, very badly harassed. The cowardness of of the left and the liberals, and I'm really frustrated by this. I have to say, frustrated and disappointed. Mr. Dawkins, my name is Boris van der Ham, uh, chairman of the Dutch Humanists. Can I ask you something? De Verenigde Naties schrijven in de universele verklaring voor de rechten van de mens dat ieder individu vrij is in zijn overtuigingen en in het uiten ervan. Daarmee zouden ook ongelovigen beschermd moeten zijn, maar juist hun rechten staan onder druk. Wat kunnen we doen? If there is a... Something happening in Turkey, like my case or somebody else's, uh, let that be heard and uh, make uh, some kind of an awareness. Removing religion as an altar of refuge for hatred, prosecution and violence is of utmost importance. Thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is Rencontre Africaine pour la Défense des Droits de l'Homme.